Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is all about predictions, good ones and bad ones. For example, bad prediction, one of these two Twilight Masquerade Booster Bundles has a special illustration rare. I'll actually get to why I, I have good reason to believe that these two boxes are hot. <laughs> Truly, I have a I have a good story as to why I honestly do believe there's a special illustration rare in one of these two boxes. Get to that in a second. But then also uh, good predictions. A couple weeks ago, I did mention something about Grudon from Paradox Rift, and you, we're here we're here to rip these open. Okay, I get that. So we're gonna do that like in just a sec. We're gonna come around back here. I'm gonna show you guys the SIR, just like I predicted. But I had mentioned some things about Grudon and Steelix from Paradox Rift. Steelix is going to be the new Raichu. Grudon is going to be the new Magikarp. Like no! And since two weeks ago, when I mentioned those things, uh, the Grudon has, uh, yeah, it's gone up quite a bit. So, I told you then to get it for 30, 35 bucks. And again, the reason I tell you guys you should get these cards now is because I have very strong reason to believe they're going up, and I don't want you to miss out. But, big, big, big but. Do not all rush to TCG player to buy these cards or you will aid in the trajectory, okay? Anytime you, the collector, the master setter, or person that wants this card and you hear me say you should probably go get it, like now, go to your local card shop. Go, go anywhere other than TCG player, okay? Also, when it comes to sets, Crown Zenith, seven months ago, top five best sets to invest in back when I was wee but a baby YouTuber named Pokedan. Uh, I made a top five best sets to invest in and Crown Zenith was number one. I think Brilliant Stars was number two. <laughs> okay, so number one. Crown Zenith. I'm just letting it be known, guys, that Crown Zenith is finally fulfilling its role as the god set of destiny for all mankind for all time. Crown Zenith is amazing, and finally, those sets, those cards are starting to pop off. I told ya. <laughs> Alright, but those are two good predictions, and again, I'm only telling you because I want you to master set or collect these cards, not grade them and flip them. Alright? Twilight Masquerade. How much did I pay? Twenty-two dollar. Twenty. I paid twenty-two forty-nine for two of these. I'll explain why I think there's a SIR in them uh, once we go back here. All right. See you in a sec. All right. So why do I think these booster bundles are hot? Real quick, joining us today. Shuckle. So why do I think that these are hot? I went to a card shop today and basically there was what eight or nine booster bundles and I grabbed these two and I set them off to the side and then I uh, said I was gonna still shop and there was a whatnot streamer and a TCG player and the other like eight or nine booster bundles that were there all in a row in a rack they all opened literally right in front of me and they didn't just open all these booster bundles right in front of my face they uh I, you know they they already heard i was a master setter and they literally gave me all their bulk so all that in there here let's take a look at this basically they gave me all the reverse hollows so i have opened one pre-release 
pre-release uh, kit or whatever, and I pulled an Amorous. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna put an Amorous right there for good luck. There you go. But yeah, so these these dudes and the whatnot streamer. I'm not gonna lie, he looked like he was in a rock band, like nine out of ten whatnot streamers. Okay, so again, wait, wait, that I pulled in my booster bundle. Sinister. Pulled that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, these guys basically, so minus like three or four of these, because, you know, I got them. Um, these guys gave me all of this from booster bundles that weren't the two that I bought. So these are all the hollows they gave me. Like, they literally just gave me all this while I was just standing there with my dog watching them. Because literally, I grabbed the two booster bundles that were about to open, and then these guys... Okay, so those are the four... Those are the hollows I pulled. I haven't sleeved any of this stuff yet. He all just gave it to me. Just got home a little bit ago. But yeah, so there's that. And then... So because... Because I'm a master setter, things like reverse hollows end up being the last things I need from sets. So look, to pay nothing and get all these reverse hollows for free... It literally blew my mind. Like, I was like a little kid. I, Yo, like... Because honestly, reverse hollows are like the bane of my existence. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's get into this, let's get into this. So again, I'm just basing the fact that there's an SIR in here, literally just off the fact that there wasn't an SIR in any of the other booster bundles, that those two dudes, the TCG player and the uh, whatnot emo rock band streamer dude, ripped open right in front of my face. These are so awkward. So awkward. All right, so six packs there. And how do I feel about buying a booster bundle a few days before release? So here's the thing. I go to a lot of different card shops and I have seen across the board different card shops handling pre-releases and products different ways. Uh, and the conclusion that I have came to is that as long as you wait till the first pre-release events, Pokemon Company isn't really going to give a shit. So, like for example, this place is selling booster bundles, and other place isn't selling anything, and then another place is only selling build and battles and booster boxes. So they kind of all are, are different on the scale of when to sell and when not to sell. And in my opinion, so long as you just wait. Just, just wait till uh, you know the first pre-release. Then you're fine. Then you're totally fine. All right. So what do I want? I want Carmine. I want Greninja. So I want Carmine. I want Greninja. I definitely want uh, the Dracapult full art. That thing looks awesome. The Eevee looks pretty cool. What else? I got an Amorous. Yeah. Suey and Growlithe. Alright, so this is my fifth pack ever of Twilight. A masquerade! Alright, sorry, I'm an idiot. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, so anyway, uh, Sword and Shield now is no longer the only era with uh, prices going wild in the Pokemon TCG collecting hobby. We now have illustration rares. Did you guys know that three of the top four most valuable cards from Paldea Evolved are illustration rares. Timber! Not special illustration rares. Oh shit, the camera's in my arm. Spinarak. Growlithe. Poliwag. Alright, Poliwag. Hassle, you don't, don't let me see any more of you. Alright, we got Pinsir for the first reverse hollow. The Suey and Growlithe. Let's see the IR version of you, please. And right off the bat, we got Blissey EX. Okay. You. Where are we putting the hits? On the Lechonks per use? Alright. So Blissey. But yeah, so uh, illustration rares are going crazy. Should I just leave the piles? I usually just make a mess of things. Alright, that'll go there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Sorry, I have OCD, so that's why I don't usually do pack openings because... You know, I just, I need things to go places. I usually sleeve stuff. Get your ass open. But sometimes, we just need to hurry. But yeah, so all these prices, it, for the last year and a half, especially Sword and Shield, everything has been so stagnant that it's easy to remember the market price of stuff. 
um, but just in the last three weeks or month, it's insane. Trainer galleries are that worth fifteen, twenty dollars, or forty-five, fifty now. Obviously, we all know about the alt arts going crazy. Love ball, jamming tower, polywag. What do we got? What do we got? Oogie doogie, one of the legendary twins. All right, all right. But yeah, so now we got Scarlet and Violet. We got things like Grudon. We got things like Raichu. We got Tyranitar. Uh, and we got a few others creeping up, like I think Steelix is definitely on its way up. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how you guys feel about pack, or cards that are 1 and 11 on rarity. Uh, you know, being worth astronomical amounts, but I freaking love it. All has to do with pull rate, number of hits per rarity tier per set. So again, stuff like Paradox Rift IRs, or Paldea Evolved IRs, any specific one of them is exceptionally Difficult to pull. All right, so we had Skarmory and Sunflora. Sunflora. I, I really want the Sunflora illustration rare. Alakazine. That would be cool. All right, so we're 0 for 2. 0 for 2 or 0 for 3? 0 for 3. All right, three packs left. Don't worry, I guaranteed us an SIR. So an SIR, just don't be a mask. Please don't be a the mask, man. Just don't be a mask. Because, I, again, I'm, I'm ensuring... In SIR shall be pulled. Yeah, yeah. God, I do not need... I drank a lot of coffee today. All right, Swirlix. Lit, Litwick. Puchina. Hello, baby. Skelet, skelet, baby. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I got excited for a sec. Handheld fan. Pull the roof. And teal mask ogre porn. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Yeah, spread eagle yeah anyway so it's a fun time to be someone who has a lot of sword and shield cards I'm not a uh, massive collector of the alt art sadly too rich for my blood especially now but man I the amount of trainer galleries I have from sword and shield where it's like holy crap did they just explode in price sorry um, so that's cool, but yeah, now it's 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 already spreading to Scarlet and Violet. It's very interesting, and I love it. I like seeing. I don't want everything to go up, but I just like seeing opportunities present themselves. And there are opportunities everywhere. Like I got a Garchomp V Trainer Gallery, the one with Cynthia on it, for eighteen dollars today. The card's worth forty-five dollars. <laughs> oh my god! So, woo! Sunflora, 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 Sunflora. Sorry, there was five, so I had to do it. Bruh, we got the Sunflora. This is definitely an IR that I wanted. I love anything that remotely resembles symmetry and Sunflora, all five of them. My god. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Shuckle. This is, this is all because of Shuckle. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this I am going to sleeve. Pardon me. We got the enamorous. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where's my sleeves? Where's my sleeve? Oh, there's my sleeves. Sleevey, sleevey. I'm sorry I didn't. I, I should have had these ready. I'm really trying to make quicker to the point videos without all the fluff. Maybe I'll edit this part out where I'm just doing this. All right. Here we got Blissey. Some flora. Bang. Bang, bang. Alright, we got one pack left in this. So again, if this isn't the SIR, that means the next booster bundle has the SIR. I'm cool with some flora though. Some flora and uh, what? Uh, Blissey? Yeah, yeah, Blissey's Q. Get your ass open now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, trainer galleries, sword and shield trainer galleries. Dude, I. I've always been someone who would rather spend a big chunk of money on a lot of lower value cards rather than everything on, say, an alt art. And yeah, so all these trainer galleries that I've been buying over the last couple years, they feel good all of a sudden. <laughs> and by feel good all of a sudden, I mean they feel like I justified for spending all the money that I spent on them when I probably shouldn't have. All right. Oh yeah, I feel something incoming. That's why I'm slowing down. Could be wrong. I'm just looking at the same... Oh, okay, okay. Greninja! Alright, well, 
there's players that absolutely want the hell out of this card. So that's actually legit. I'm actually very pumped about if there's any EX that I wanted to pull, regular EX, that's the one right there. What's up, dude? The Japanese fan base has this as their number one favorite Pokemon. Kind of legit. Ooh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Get your booty in there. Get your booty in there. Thank you, Greninja. Where's Greninja going? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You're just going right there. All right, so booster bundle number two. All right, here we go. Here we go. Bang, bang, bang. I can't decide. I'm probably going to need to edit this because I'm so slow at doing pack openings. Maybe I will. I guess we'll find out. You will know. Chwap. But yeah, it's a fun time. There's a lot of... Hey, did you guys... Uh, Dr. Applesauce. I don't know if you guys saw, but Dr. Applesauce had his GameStop video copyright stricken by GameStop. So crazy. I wonder if Leonhardt's is going to get copyright stricken. Do, 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 do. Kieran! And another Alakazam. Hey! Alright, five packs left. So let's see, we're at 13 minutes here on my counter, and I think I probably did a two or three minute long intro. I'm trying to get better about my intros not taking up too much time, because I know you guys hate it when you dilly-dally like a Danny Phantom would. Danny Phantom is the king of dilly-dally. Danny Dilly. Varun. Bobby. Luxio. I want the Luxray full art. That thing looks strong. Jamming. Bug catcher. Monferno. Shinistia. And, uh, yeah, that thing. All right, all right. We're running out of shots here. We're running out of shots. We got one, two, three. We got four shots left, y'all. Four shots. Ugh. Give me anything that is... Ooh, Blood Moon or Saloon. No. I'll take the Carmine. I'll, I'll regrettably take the Chase Waifu. Oh, sorry, I'm an idiot. Alright, Feebass. Feebass. Sorry if my hands look gross. I'm a worker. I'm a man of hand usage. I'm a man of hand usage. Applin. Give me that IR. Nose pass. And the walking wake that eh, reminds me a little bit of a, like a blue Velociraptor with a perm. Okay, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Three packs left. We had we had the one Sunflora and the Greninja. And what do we want as far as A specs? We want that unfair stamp. Yeah, unfair. Yeah, we want definitely unfair stamp. That's what it's called, right? Unfair stamp. Could be wrong. Bro, bro, do I see something? Do you guys? I don't know, bro. I don't know. <gasps> Looks like we got a diamond shiny thing. Dreepy, potentially. Phoebus, boomerang. What the? Upside down Snorlax, sleeping on its head. Right side up Snorlax, sleeping on its butt. Melodic. A Dracapult EX. Okay, to get Greninja and Dracapult, that's I'm I'm down. I'm down. I'm not gonna sleeve it because I want to hurry. But boom, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, here it is. There's two packs. There's one SIR. Which pack has the SIR? Probably not this one. Probably not the other one. <laughs> so about 40%. Uh, wait, 60%. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that you are not guaranteed an SIR in a booster box, just like in Temporal Forces. About 45% or 40% of them um, do not even come with the SIR. So the chances of me getting an SR and two booster bundles are quite literally low as shit, but you know what? It's all about the confidence, and all you need is one pack and a Froki, and another upside down more Peko. I mean, well, you know, for... What the fuck is with this quality control? We have an upside down card, followed by a backwards card. What? Oh my, what is happening? What? What? I, oh, what? 
What the fuck? What is this pack? Really boom boom. Okay, I think we're back on track. What the hell was that? A mo Bro! Ooh, Tingler reverse all rare, that's cool, I guess. All that for Vizendipity? Yeah, God, they made that pack really difficult. That was weird, dude. That was really, really weird. All right, last pack. Here's the SR. Like I said, like I promised, here it is. We're just gonna pull it like it's nothing. Pull it like you sold it. What does that even mean? I don't know. Shut up. Shut up, Mimic Brew. Why do you suck so much at everything? I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I don't know. Did you guys see something? I don't know. I'm just, I don't know if I did. Slugma, Tadbulb, Applin. Did I mention the pull rates are difficult? Boomerang. All right, all the cards are right side up and forward. That's good, at least. Litwick, here we... Bro, last pack pincer magic? Yeah, okay, hold on. It's not the SIR, but you gotta, you, you, I got, come on. Come on. Come on, that's, that's, I, I'm okay with ending on that. You know, Jesus, what is wrong with you? But, pincer? Okay. Alright, so as, as, so that's why that was a bad prediction. Two booster bundles, two really cool illustration rares. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so confirmed, I'd open 12 packs, pull rates are astronomical. This set is for you investor bros. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, see you guys on the next one. Deuces!